consuming despair. Go to any abandoned building in any city in the state of California. Anyone will do, it matters not at all. Venture into the building and find the darkest corner in the darkest room. Stand in that corner and say out loud, I want to speak with the one who has long since run out of tears to shed. Then turn and try to leave by the door you came through. The door will not lead back the way you came, but instead into a small room. In one corner there is a stereo that plays your favorite music, a TV that plays your favorite movie, a table covered in your favorite food and drink, and a couch with a boy no older than sixteen on it. The boy will greet you with a sorrowful smile and a polite hello before lowering his gaze to the whiskey bottle in his hand in obvious sorrow. He will not react to you in any other way and will remain in this depressed state despite the good food, television and music surrounding him. He will only respond to one question. What is it that despairs you so? And he will tell you just what it is that despairs him so. Every last tragic moment of his sorrow-filled life will be laid bare before you. You must sit through this horrible tale of depression and sadness. Most are unable, most flee the room in tears. Others despair of ever being happy again and sit next to him on the couch as oblivious to the joyful things around him as he is, never leaving the room. If you can stand this tale of unending sadness, then he will fall silent at its end. He will return his gaze to the bottle of whiskey and gesture for you to leave. Do not leave, but instead tell him of something you love. It can be anything, a funny story, a heartwarming poem, anything that brought you joy. If you have the heart to think of something joyful after hearing such a tragic tale of despair, then you will be rewarded with a small smile on the face of the holder. You must then say, things aren't so bad in the end. At this, he will wordlessly stand up and as a reward for granting him a few small moments in which he did not wish for death, he will give you the bottle of whiskey in his hand. Be warned, the few that emerge from this room have described doing only the above and nothing else, something to keep in mind. The bottle is object 230 of 538, and its contents will grant you temporary shelter from the despair to come.